the septuagenarian Princess Ekiwa Ine, who was the signature of all eyes during the mass which held at St. Paul's Catholic Church in Benin City, in company with her children, family members and parishioners, danced to the altar to offer thanks on the occasion of her seventieth birthday. An elated celebrant, Princess Ekiwa Ine, expressed gratitude to God. She said becoming a septuagenarian in good health is remarkable. I feel well. I feel highly grateful to God for seeing me through to this very day. Her husband, children, and the deputy governor of the Doe State, Comrade Philip Choibu, paid glowing tribute to Princess Akiwa Ine. A beautiful woman, a mother in everything that she should do, a woman of substance. And I do pray for a long life to see all of us come out at our best. At 70, she looks so young, very energetic, and still has a love to give. Long life and prosperity. She will see her children's children, her children's children's children, and all of us will gather around her. She's a very kind, loving, generous, but a firm person that will tell you the truth. I wish her a happy birthday and a good time. After the mass, a lavish reception was organized for guests. The 70th birthday party was attended by notable personalities, including the former governor of the Doe State, John Odige Oyegu, the Speaker of Doe State House of Assembly, Blessing Nagwebaku, of legislators, civil commissioners, retired and serving permanent secretaries, and captains of industries from within and outside the country. A documentary on the life of Princess Akiwa and her sergeant in Joss as a maiden was captivating. The celebrant caught her 70th birthday cake and engaged the dance floor with guests. At a well-attended event, guests commended the celebrant for her achievements and contributions to the state civil service. I wish her happy celebrations. If you look at her civil service background, she got to the climax. Princess Mrs. Akiwa Ine was born on November 14, 1953, into the Benin royal family. She was a head of service and presently chairman of the State Civil Service Commission. Favor with Darrow, ITV News.